As a doctor, do you think that science is on the side of the pro-life movement? Oh, absolutely. You have to deny science to be pro-choice, I'm afraid. I'm Cassie Dillon with The Daily Wire, and today I'm at the March for Life talking to people about what it means to be pro-life and what misconceptions some other people might have about people who are actually pro-life. Dear women, do you not care about women's rights? I guess not. <laughs> no. I am a woman. Why would I hate women? Do you care about women? I do. I do care about women. Do you care about women? Yes, I don't see how they get that from being pro-life. Like, of course I care about women. They're female babies, right? <laughs> right? Right, right. The left has created a stereotype that pro-lifers are all old religious white men who are anti-women and anti-science. 16. 16. 20. 16. Uh, 25. I'm 25 too. I started this when I was in my 20s, now I'm almost 60. What's it like having 10 kids? Just this trip to the grocery store is a pro-life trip for us. I mean, there's all age ranges, people representing everyday America. We are the pro-life generation! The theme this year is unique from day one, pro-life is pro-science. Is pro-life pro-science? Of course. Definitely. We've always known that the unborn baby is a human life. As a biology major at school, I learned that crossing over happens at fertilization. It has its own independent genome, DNA. I was born at 26 weeks, and it really disturbs me that there are some states in this country where that is an acceptable place to have an abortion. It's its own entity that should be protected. Babies, they, they can't make their own decisions to live or die, and they don't deserve to die. We speak because they can't speak for themselves. Abortion is bad for women. Why should we be supporting it? I had an abortion when I was 15, and the end result was I couldn't have children. In 1980, when I was a junior in college, I had an abortion. 22 years I suffered before I owned this. When I see women who are hurt by the abortion industry, and I know that there's a loss of life, it's just this cycle of brokenness, um, and that hurts. So I want, I'm pro-life because I want to change that cycle. We have many pro-life people here from all different backgrounds, ages, states, and right next to me there are some pro-abortion people who I've been trying to interview, but instead they're kind of just shouting and doing what the left does. Roe v. Wade is here to stay! Roe, Roe! Hey, hey! Roe v. Wade is here to stay! Myself and um, a lot of my friends as pro-life liberals and feminists and Democrats, we're here. I am a Democrat because I believe they have a consistent pro-life ethic on every issue but abortion. My family has been pro-life. Um, even though they're not Republican, they still are pro-life. The only reason that there are so many folks who believe that it has to be a partisan issue is because, unfortunately, one party in this country has decided to embrace the full-on abortion till point of birth position. This is something that doesn't come from any sort of religious tradition or background. Hey, whether you're atheist, Catholic, Jewish, whatever you are, we want them all to live. And as Americans, that's the great part about America is we do believe in life. I think abortion is one of the most pressing human rights crises of our time. <laughs> what we're doing right now is we're pushing the social movement because we have to change people's minds. We gather here because we stand for life. We must keep marching for life each and every day of the year, taking action in our communities and in the public square to work towards ending abortion. Woo! Life matters.